Well, hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I am going to be talking about Copic Reds and gift card holders and a gift card program that I will share at the end of the video if you're interested in that. But first, we're going to do the coloring with this new stamp set from Trinity. They have a bunch of new gnomes, and this one is a stamp and die set. So I'm going to color it up. I've picked out three different papers, and I'm picking colors that match. So R22 matches that pink pretty well. It's a warm pink. And I'm just going to kind of go over to the left of it on my hex chart to figure out roughly what what color I should go with. I didn't want to go really dark since it's such a light pink, so I went for the second to the darkest one there. The next one is going to be the RV17, that, that cool pink, because it's more toward a purple. And I'm going to go up to try to find a color that'll be a good shadow color for that one. And the RV69 has an RV in it, so it's going to work pretty well. Then we've got an R29, which is probably the closest match to that true red. And I'm going to use my standard R89 because I love that color. I love how it mixes with different reds. But two of those are warm, and one is more on the purple side, so it's, it's a cool red. And I can't tell you the brands of those papers, by the way, because I just kind of throw paper in the <laughs> shelf, and I have no idea what, what brands they are. They're, they've been around for a long time in, on my shelf, so yeah, sorry about that. But you can match papers and then pick some colors off your hex chart to make something match with them. And I thought I would do that with three of these. This middle one, there's a really big jump between that really light pink and the, the darker red that I chose. So I'm doing a tip to tip technique. So you basically just pick up a little color from the dark marker on the nib of your light marker and then color with it until that color disappears and do all that blending with it. So it looks pretty nice. And then this other one is also a mid-tone kind of RV17, so it doesn't really need that tip to tip. I can just blend with the RV69 straight with it and that works pretty well. It's just when your colors are a little too far apart that having the tip to tip technique in there really helps. But hopefully looking at this, you can see the two on the left are very warm reds. They they just have almost a little bit of yellow or a little orange to them rather than the one on the right has a little purplish to it. And I've had people ask, you know, how do you know whether something's warm or cool? Sometimes you can't really tell. And there's also sometimes when it doesn't really matter. A lot of times when it doesn't really matter because you can use warm reds and cool reds together. I do that all the time and it doesn't bother me at all. But if you're trying to match a paper, it helps to kind of know if it's warm or cool. And since I knew that that was an RV color, then it went with my purplish kind of purple pink paper. So I'm zipping through the coloring on the rest of this because the coloring was all about the reds. But you can see I'm just adding some shadows on the beard and then blending them with the rest of the beard color. And I decided I was going to give them gloves. I didn't know if those were hands or gloves in the stamp set. So they've got gloves on. Now for my little easel shaped, I'm, I'm calling them easel shaped gift card holders. I cut paper to four by seven. That's the size of this, four inches by seven inches. And doing a score line at two and a quarter inches from each side leaves me with two and a half in the middle. And that means when I bend this thing closed, I have a little bit of a kind of a hangover of each one of those so that it'll tuck in nicely if it needs to. And then to make the gift card holder portion, I just put the gift card in the center section where I want to have it. And I'm just going to put a little slit across there, across the angle. And then I can tuck the corner in, flip it around, and do the same thing on the other side. Now, if you're trying to take a weird size gift card, just do the same kind of thing. Measure it, see how big you need to make it, and make your holder a little bit bigger than the gift card. Don't make it too tight. And then you can tuck it in to both of those little corners. Now there are dies you can get, but you can also just use a fingertip knife like I did and be just fine. So I've die cut all my little guys out and don't they look adorable? I put a black panel on the front of each one because I don't have, I literally do not own pattern paper. I know I'm weird that way. So I'm going to make my own patterns by using a white pen to just add some detail onto 
the black paper. I'm going to do stitching around one. I'm going to do some polka dots on this one. You can do all different kinds of things with this. You can do a Copic scene behind each one of these little guys, but they're just gift cards, and I figure they're going to go into another card, so I'm not going to put any more effort in it than what I already have. But they are absolutely adorable, and you'll see in a little bit, they do actually stand up. And now I want to tell you about the gift card program. It's called Card Now. And you go to their website and you get to watch this guy have frosting on his glasses, which just makes me laugh. But the way that this works is you get a bunch of gift cards that you keep in your house. They're blank. They don't have any money on them right now. But as soon as you're ready to give them, you add the money to them through an app. So you just buy this little box of them and you're ready to go with gifts. And during a pandemic, let me tell you, it's nice not to have to think about going to the store to get a gift card. And you could send a physical one this way, not an e-card. So it's kind of cool. But you have this whole bunch of cards in your house. When you're ready to go, you just go to the app and you tell it which card and which store it's going to go to. And then the gift card is loaded up. So it's pretty convenient that way. So what I did after looking at the how it works is to go to the shop page and I picked out the just the basic starter kit just to see what this thing was. And what you do is look through all of the options. They have a ton of different options. Some of them, like the card now, they can pick whatever they want to, to buy with it. They can shop anywhere. They can go, they'll be directed to go back to the website and pick what they want to spend it on. You can go to the, the multi-merchant cards, which... Like you can give a restaurant one that has a whole bunch of different restaurants in it. You can give things that your recipients normally like to get. So there's lots of really fun things in here to choose from. And one of my favorites that I can't wait to give is Charity Choice. You guys know I love charity giving. So it explains how it works, etc. So I'm adding one of those. And once I have five of these added, then I can just click to order the box and it will come to my house. And it came to my house, it came really quickly, so I was pretty tickled with that. And here it is, I'm just doing the unboxing for you. I had not opened it before this. It has a little card with instructions on it and a QR code so you can go get to the app and download it and be ready to roll. And the box contains, and it's a nice little organized thing, so this is gonna be really helpful. They do have gift card holders that you can use. There's little slits in the corners of these, so you can just attach the gift card to it and write a to from on it, or you can make your own like I did. And then these are the ones that I ordered. So I've got the multi restaurants one, since people I know, I have no idea what restaurants they have near them. Card now is for them to pick what they want to spend it on, charity choice my favorite <laughs> so that people can give to the charity of their choice Columbia because I have some people in my life who love to go out hiking and I know they're going to love getting them a little something and then happy treats because everybody loves happy treats so I've taken them all out of their little baggies and put them in there and then I tucked my gift cards that I just made into the box so I am ready to go if I make more of those gift cards I'm going to be ready with lots of birthday gifts throughout, throughout the rest of the year. And each of my little gift cards, as you can see, stands up. So it's like a little easel card too. Once they take out their gift card, they can keep it on a shelf. And remember that I sent them a little something. So that's about it for me. I think I shoved enough into a nine minute video. I'm gonna go now and I will see you guys later. Take care and I'll chat with you soon. Bye-bye.